back down to a five-point advantage, 24-19. And she was 0 for yep. 14 coming into this game. Low post logic, skip pass across the lane to Doolittle, who's wide open, and that's her first basket of the ball game. Picked up by Kostanek, running the break, it's five on four, kicks it out, right wing, three ball on the way, Disterhoff count it. Swinging it about 30 feet out left side. Kostanek drives down the middle of the paint. Nobody picks her up, and she goes all the way in for the right-handed layup. And all of a sudden, it's a four-point Iowa lead at 43-39, under 12 minutes now left to go in the game. Peschel drives down the right side, loses it, kicks it out to there Dixon, who drains a three. The inbounds comes to Disterhoff. Pump fake, gets the defense in the air, all the way in for the easy layup. 31 three-pointers they've taken yep. in this game. Disterhoff, jab step, takes Donalick in, and goes one. up strong, count it, and she's fouled. This game is over with. Iowa will dribble out the final four seconds and earn a tough-fought 67-60 victory. You know, these in-state rivalry games, a um, lot of emotion to them. Um, you know, for us, we're really glad to get to our first road win of the year. Uh, that feels good. Uh, but it's a busy week for us. We have four games in this week and, um, you know, three, three more coming up uh, against really good competition, playing USC, Boston College, and North Carolina Wilmington. So uh, this is going to be a real test for us with our legs and a lot of travel and a lot of games in a short amount of time. So really glad to come out of here with a, with a win. Um, you know, we've we got to figure out the free throw shooting because we're a good free throw shooting team and we're not showing it right now. And it really would have not even made this any drama at all if we would have just made our free throws. And uh, we need to do a better job of that. Well, I think it was a lot, um, you know, with the fouls that they're calling. We just had to adjust. We didn't do a great job adjusting too well at first. Um, got to go in a little bit in the second half, a little better. You know, just got to play with hands off like they've told us before every single game since the beginning of the season. Uh, we just had to adjust to it a little better. Um, you know, I think we just talked it through and we talked at the things that we needed to improve on and we just tried to bring a little more energy in the second half which I think was you know one thing that was really lacking in first. I mean it was not the best win um, prettiness basketball wise but um, I think it was just important just for our state championship kind of um, winning against them and Iowa State and um, I think it was just an important win to go into Cancun with and kind of a confidence booster. Well, it's just huge. First road win for us going into Cancun. Uh, three days of three games in a row. So just important to know that you can win off your home court. Um, In-state rivalry games are huge. A lot of emotions going on them. So you're going to take any win you can get. Even though we didn't play our best, we'll definitely take it. Oh, it's, you know, any road win is huge, especially when you're playing you and I um, at their home court. Um, so we're definitely happy with this win. It wasn't pretty, but um, we got the win, and now I think we're ready to go to Cancun. Yeah, great opportunity for us going to Cancun and playing against great competition. And the thing I like about these tournaments is you're playing really good competition on neutral courts. And, um, you know, that's, that's your best opportunity to get wins is when you're on neutral courts against good people. So uh, we're excited about that, playing uh, USC and Boston College, North Carolina, Wilmington. Uh, but we also, you know, are hoping that we have a little fun as, as a team, you know, that we enjoy the opportunity to be in Cancun and enjoy the resort. And uh, we're going to do some things with the players, like taking them to swim with the Dolphins and things like that. And those are uh, fun experiences that I think bring your team closer together, that they'll enjoy, and that'll help us down the line.